Well, it's uh, quarter to four in the morning, 3.45, and I'm going to be doing Comments X today for the 25th at this point in time. Uh, what's happening is that my uh, schedule is kind of flipping around, and I need to start doing the videos tonight. Yeah, well at the end of the day rather than at the beginning of the day because uh, I've got so much work to do uh, when I get up in a few hours that uh, I won't necessarily have the time to do to do thing to do the comments desk, but it's kinda uh, that my day bizarrely is starting again now even though I just put in 12 hours, what will happen over the night, because I've been working on uh, some of the, the uh, theories that I've been working on, the ideas are coming in slowly, and I've still got to organize a lot, a lot of the stuff that I have to get up onto the internet. So I, I'm not going to be sleeping straightly, straight through the night. That's what happened yesterday. Uh, I'll get up in a couple hours, uh, and uh, I'll do some more writing, and then... Uh, Go back to bed, get up, you know, go back to bed for a couple hours, get up and do some more writing. And my full work day won't begin until about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And so that's going to be a little bit too late to do Comments X. The comment, uh, Comments X. And it doesn't take into account the work that I'll be doing over the night. Uh, I sort of mentioned this earlier uh, on one of the comments I was commenting on uh, on uh, somebody's dreams and they were asking why their dreams are so weird and a lot of times dreams are the way they are due to the amount of reading and studying that you do. So this is what particularly happens to me is that uh, uh, if I've been doing a lot of work and I get to a point where... Um, things are continuing on in the mind even though uh, in about a half hour I'm going to be going to sleep my mind won't shut off and it will continue working while I'm sleeping I'll have dreams about different things and in the dreams I end up uh, resolving uh, several issues uh, one of the things I, this is when I, this is actually how it came to some of the realizations about the uh, the Bose Higgs the Bose Higgs uh, the Higgs boson uh, and the uh, conservation of mass contradiction. It was in my sleep while I was having a dream. I was working on uh, a particle ex particle physics experiment. And I realized that uh, that even if they find the Higgs boson, the question that comes to mind is that uh, even uh, w when you take a look at um, took a take a look into the field, the physics field of thermodynamics, um, there's a law that states that things tend to go from order to disorder. And, but if you look at, if you go back and look at the concept of the conservation of mass, is things always have to be balanced. So if something goes from order to disorder, there has to be a second act, the second uh, part of the equation. That's only half the equation because the mirror part of it, going from disorder to order, has to be there. So let's say we have the Higgs boson and Higgs, the Higgs boson decays into the rest of the universe, because that's the, the, the natural path of things for things to decay into, uh, in, into time. Right? Time, time begins it uh, uh, on its axis as time zero, and as a particle uh, ages, it decays into time. This is uh, seen with. Um, uh, the, the decay is called half-lives. I mean, if you've done anything in uh, 
nuclear and, and atomic physics, or if you've heard anything about uranium, they talk about the half-life. They're talking about how long something, de how some, how long these particularly radioactive materials decay in, because these radioactive materials are highly unstable. Their their atomic structure is highly unstable, and they are in a, are in a continuous state of decay, but they go from uh, one point of decay down to zero point, they eventually sort of, you know, like peter out where there's no radiation because there's nothing left for 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 the a a atom to decay. It's gone from an unstable uh, nucleus uh, down to a uh, stable form. So it always goes from, this is the way, th same thing for electrons. Uh, electrons go from excited state down to a, a ground state. That's where the tendency is to go. As they go from excited down to ground, they release a photon. We see that as light, or we measure it as electromagnetic waves. Um, this is the tendency throughout most of physics. This is what we see in, this in particle physics. This is what we see in nuclear physics. So the Higgs boson will have to do the exact same thing. The Higgs boson, we find the Higgs boson. Higgs boson has to decay into all the other particles as it, as it interacts with the uh, with its surrounding environment. So the question is though is that when you do have the Higgs boson uh, does it decay into something because it should decay into something and if it does decay into something then is that something something that was before the Higgs boson or a result of the Higgs boson decay? So this is, the, this is sort of the, the, the conservation of mass contradiction with the, the Higgs boson, assuming that the Higgs boson is the uh, particle, the progenitor particle to all other particles. And this is what they're sort of looking for, is they're looking for the beginning of the Big Bang with the, with, with, with the Large Hadron Collider and the, you know, the, um, the very massive uh, particle accelerator that they built in, um, in, in Europe. Uh, they're looking f trying to go move all the way back to the Big Bang. They're looking at the uh, particle creations there. And the theoretical particle that they're looking for right now is the Higgs boson. And it's also, uh, ironically, uh, because a large chunk of these people are atheists, they've commented, they've, they've termed it the God particle. But it's actually brought out a whole bunch of things where um, even if they find the Higgs boson, there's no, uh, they, they still have a massive contradiction that they really have to de deal with. And this will not be the end of particle. This will not be the sort of the definitive answer. This is how the universe started. Uh, so that's, that's, that's what's sort of been going through my mind. Uh, I've got to write the... Um, the omega, the omega construct. Uh, I'm still working on that. There is so much material that has to be condensed into the these 15-minute videos, and I don't want to make it too complex. I don't really want things to be flying over people's heads. So I've got to try to find a way to make it, uh, the, the, which is some of the stuff which is which is fairly academic, fairly. This is going to be uh, within a large chunk of the science there. I don't know how many people want to... If there is something, if you're interested in following the, the uh, mega construct, uh, don't hesitate to ask questions. There isn't really anything such as, 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 a, stup as a stupid question here. Uh, because the, the construct is, 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 is the basis of a theory that's going to develop on out. And in the quantum world, in this anti-logical world, there is no absolute knowledge. We are forever uh, a student. We are forever studying. And we are always trying to push the bounds out. Uh, so challenging my thinking is a way for me to sort of ask myself, do I really understand what I'm seeing, uh, is there a better way I can phrase something, is there a, way, a better way I can present something. Uh, it, it, these are all the different ideas that as my day finishes now in terms of the full-on studying when I go to bed, 
these are the things I'll be thinking about as I'm sleeping and, and all the way through the night. So I won't actually, uh, I won't be, you know, I'll probably within about, about 6 o'clock in the morning, I'll probably get up again and uh, do some more work. Anyways, uh, that's sort of uh, what's happening now. Um, I will post uh, a response to... Um, uh, I think his name is Saul Cactus, or I, 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 that's why I think it's Saul Cactus 27. Uh, we have begun this discussion on uh, the actions of the activist uh, Jessica Alquist. I believe that's her name. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and I've got to put together a response video for that. But that sort of in conjunction with everything everything else, including uh, the uh, next section of editing that I need to get done for the Linux show, which is uh, Ubuntu, BSD, Unix, Etal. Etal means all the rest. It's actually a scientific term they use uh, uh, if they're using, if they're listing a whole bunch of things that continue on, they'll list three of them and then they'll put the term E T A L separated. There's two there's there were two words, E T and then A L. And that simply means and the rest. So that there's, you know, a whole variety of things. And then those of you who are familiar with Linux know that there are a lot of flavors of Linux. There's no way to cover in a short title all of them. So you just do Ubuntu, which is the most popular BSD is the basics. This is where Linux actually came out of BSD. BSD is the, became Unix, and then you have all the rest. So that's uh, that's why the that's why that's the name of the show: Ubuntu, Unix, BSD, et al. So that has to be done for tomorrow. I have to get all the editing done. And then I have to work on uh, the uh, the videos uh, that I want to put out, uh, and these are basically from NASA uh, for my phys for my physics TV channel. Anyways, uh, I'll say good night now and uh, talk to you tomorrow, or actually in a couple hours.